You're watching Cartel TV, I'm Amelia, and before we go any further, make sure you've subscribed. Mahindra, a brand that is wildly popular in the Indian subcontinent, isn't really a name most Aussies are familiar with. We first reviewed them back in 2016. They had some okay offerings back then, but since then, they haven't been idle. Instead, they've been busy honing their lineup, and today I'm checking out one of their latest and greatest, the Mahindra Scorpio. Now, let me start by explaining exactly what this Scorpio is. It's a large family SUV with off-road capability, offered at a very competitive price. It's in a segment against off-roaders like the Toyota Fortuner, Ford Everest, Isuzu MUX, LDV D90, Toyota Prado, and the Mitsubishi Pajero Sport. So let's dive into this review and see how Mahindra's Scorpio will stack up. The exterior design of the 2023 Mahindra Scorpio carries forward a commanding stance and a strong presence on the road. It has all the right design elements that indicate to its off-road capability. It does look boxier than something like the Pajero Sport or the Prado. Its design is also narrower. Up front, I like the fact that they actually haven't tried too hard and instead given us a straightforward design that still maintains key design elements like DRLs and fog lamps. But it's also clear that it's its own design. A distinguishing feature is a metallic Scorpio tail element integrated into the belt line, adding a touch of fierceness to its look. The stacked tail lamp design gives it a really strong presence from behind. It's available in five colour options, Deep Forest, Napoli Black, Everest White, Red Rage and Dazzling Silver. The 2023 Mahindra Scorpio is powered by a 2.2 litre four-cylinder turbo diesel engine paired with a six-speed automatic transmission system. The engine delivers 129 kilowatts of power and 400 newton metres of torque. Fuel consumption is listed at 7.2 litres per 100 kilometres. My immediate impressions when driving the Scorpio is pretty positive. It doesn't at all feel clunky or tractor-like for a diesel. In fact, it's more than comfortable for city driving. The Scorpio boasts of class-leading structural rigidity, off-road capability and commendable on-road manners thanks to its new third-generation body on-frame platform. It features the first in-class terrain management technology for Explore. With an electric shift on the fly four-wheel drive system, Scorpio can seamlessly switch between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive modes enabling a dominating performance across terrains. Braked towing capacity is a handy 2.5 tonnes. Look, capability-wise, this vehicle is incredibly comfortable off-road. Interior layout is very clean and elegant. It looks about on par with what I've seen from its Japanese counterparts in similar categories. But some strange emissions I will get into. First up, the seats are really comfortable, perfect for a long drive, and the leather feels durable and generally pretty good. There is, however, only one cup holder, and I mean, that's pretty contentious. Who gets to put their coffee in here if you're sharing the ride up front? I would, in fact, actually say that storage on the whole is quite limited. You do get bottle holders down the front and throughout the back, but the glove, the, this little guy, it's pretty shallow. There's a rich coffee black leatherette upholstery and a robust metal finished jewel rail encased centre console. It's got an eight inch infotainment screen with main features like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The Scorpio also features passive keyless entry, cooled glove box, TPMS, that's tyre pressure monitor system, and an auto headlamp and auto wiper among its many amenities. The second row here in Australia only comes with this captain chair offering. That's right, there's no seven seater option available to Australia. It's only offered here as a six seater. And these seats are really super spacious and comfortable and I must say a very civilized way to travel as an adult however being that they are so luxurious I would have liked to have seen a few more creature comforts back here for example the sunroof is great but it stops over the front passengers heads and you get these little air vents back here which is cool but it's only got a little dial and there's one USB-C plug-in uh, you don't get any cup holders as I mentioned which would be quite nifty for something to pop out up here and you've got map pockets, but they're really shallow. In fact, it's like you get a little half map pocket. So, you know, a few little upgrades here for me personally wouldn't go astray. The official boot space is listed at 756 litres with the third row down. You do get a full size spare under here, which is great. However, small disclaimer, if you are using all three seats, you basically don't get a boot at all. Like I can barely fit my handbag here. So there's a little handle here to flip the seats forward. And they go forward really quite easily. And then getting in is actually quite a breeze. And look, it's, let me see. Whoa, whoa. Getting in isn't, look, there's not heaps of room back here, I must say, for an adult, but for a kid, it's, it's gonna be pretty good. Knee angle is pretty high. But there is quite a bit of room at the top, but you know, you, you do have an armrest and a little handle 
and a reading light if you fancy reading. But other than that, for me, the person who draws the shortest straw is definitely in the back. There is a lot of impressive safety tech in the 2023 Scorpio. It is the first body on-frame SUV to secure a five-star rating in the Global New Car Assessment Program, that's GNCAP, new crash test protocols. Additional safety features include electronic stability control, side head protection airbag fitment, hill hold control, and hill descent control, adding to the Scorpio's impressive safety credentials. Pricing starts at $41,990 drive away for the entry Z8 Scorpio, and there's Z8L will cost $44,990 drive away. Very reasonable compared to rivals in the segment. In conclusion, the 2023 Scorpio is a really comprehensive package for anybody seeking a robust, powerful and affordable true off-road SUV, especially when you compare it to current competitors' pricing. Its all-terrain capability, sophisticated ride and handling, safety features and premium interiors make it a compelling option in this segment. Adding to the vehicle's attractiveness is the all-new factory-backed seven-year, 150,000km warranty for private buyers, making the Scorpio a value-for-money proposition. It's an SUV designed with meticulous attention to detail, ensuring a thrilling and safe driving experience for its users. This is a really capable and confident off-roading SUV. The materials and quality is really good. I would have liked to have seen a few more interior offerings. However, when it comes to both the price and vehicle availability, I've heard that they do have quite a few of these in stock, then it really is a very appealing offer. Thanks for watching Cartel TV. Make sure to let us know what you think of the 2023 Mahindra Scorpio in the comments below. Also feel free to let us know what review you'd like to see us do next. And as always, Dream big and drive on.